How's it going guys? My name is Marco. Welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to talk about the two new fragrances that recently came out. One fragrance, like I just, I was just walking into the, the Sephora store to buy the new AirPods and I think I'm gonna make a video about it because the new AirPods are incredible. So I just came uh, across two new fragrances sometimes when I go to the shopping center just go into the Sephora or Douglas or new niche stores and see if there are new fragrances recently uh, came out so I got into these two new fragrances sometimes I don't make a video about fragrances that came out because they're not something special yeah there was this Aqua di Gio uh, Profondo maybe I'll talk about it a little bit but these are two new fragrances that actually impacted me they actually made me feel something oh it's something different finally it's something that i can talk about because normally like the fragrances that came that come out are always like the eau de parfum version of an eau de toilette or is the extreme version of something else or it's the new fresh version for spring and summer so actually i i don't care that much about this new diversity but these two new fragrances came out, so I want to talk about one fragrance is the new Thierry Mugler. It's called Fusion. I tried both the feminine and the masculine version. The masculine is the blue bottle. I took a picture uh, hiding myself into the Sephora store, so I, uh, I took this picture. And yeah, I have it actually here, so I want to talk about my first impression. It's very different. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I mean, I don't know if I would buy it, but it's different finally from all the other fragrances into the store. And let me tell you, it smells like sugar. It smells like sugar. I don't know if you have this kind of sweet in other places, but in Italy, there's this sweet that everybody eats for Christmas time, which is called panettone. And it's basically like a brioche kind of uh, paste with uh, like it's sugar coated and these like little things of sugars little like white things of sugar I'll post a picture about it exactly smells like this this smells like sugar but in a very sophisticated way I love it it's a gourmandish fragrance but you know Terry Mugler always uh, like put out on the market these kind of uh, different fragrances and I didn't like the Amen or the other fragrances that much but this one's actually good at least it's different it smells very gourmandish it smells very sweet but sweet sugary just sugary For, to me it smells like sugar if you want to smell like sugar this is it but not sugar sweet sugar sugar I don't know how to explain it it's crazy if you like would have the chance to smell it try it uh, wait a little bit until it dries down and try it on your skin the other fragrance which is really nice and maybe I'm gonna buy it because I I'm actually enjoying it a lot it's the new Tommy Ilfiger impact <laughs> it is this called impact and I have it here this is gorgeous. This is very nice for a commercial designer fragrance, which I actually, I'm not into commercial fragrances that much recently. In this period, I'm more, I'm more into niche fragrances. This is fresh and masculine, but very, very, very spicy. This is literally a spicy spring summer fragrance. The bottle also is good. It smells very good. I don't know about the performance, but I think it will perform good. Maybe Fusion by Thierry Mugler will perform a little bit more. Because this one, like right now, if I have to smell fragrance in the air, I smell this one. But this one, whenever I get closer, I smell it and it's incredible. It's very spicy. It's peppery. That's the, that's the term I wanted to talk about. It's peppery. Uh, that kind of spicy bitterness, freshness. Uh, kind of office office for men by Jeremy fragrance fragrance one mixed with with nothing with Moschino Moschino toy boy the new Moschino do you know it it's very spicy 
uh, very hot in that term. This smells like Moschino Toy Boy mixed with Office for Men. It's incredible. I like it, but it's subtle. It's not that powerful as you can expect. But I like it. I kind of like it. I didn't check the price, but if it's not too expensive, maybe I would buy it. And the third fragrance, yeah, let's talk about it because it's a new way, a new fragrance as well, is the new Acqua di Gio Profondo. What do I think about it? First of all, for all the fragrance community outside, me as an Italian guy, it's not profundo, it's not profundo, it's not profondo, it's Acqua di Gio Profondo. <laughs> this is the term. This is the pronunciation. Profondo. Profondo means deep. Means... Uh, means like when you are in deep water i think and also the color of the bottle means that in my opinion so this deep blue is incredible and the fragrance actually smells like aqua di gio more aquatic more deep <laughs> deeper aquatic bluish version of aqua di gio it's great on my skin it, it's not that great as the other Aqua Joes because for me, aquatic fragrances, they really smell bad on my, uh, on my skin personally, so I would not buy it. But it's like a mixture between Aqua Di Gio Prof Profumo, the, the, oh, the, parfum, no, the parfum version of Aqua Di Gio, the black one, that one, and Aqua by Bulgari. <laughs> this is the mix. So yeah, I like it. Not that much. It's another uh, another perspective on the Aqua Di Gio, which is like seen over and over again, in my opinion, in the market. I like it. Um, it's a seven, seven and a half out of ten. These two fragrances actually are good because they are different sugar and spicy so i like them this is what i think about these two new fragrances let me know in the comments if you try them if you already have it in if you already have these fragrances in your country and uh, let me know your honest opinion so see you guys in the next video peace hey guys just a little update i tried another fragrance the day after oh my god the camera i tried another fragrance just the day after i made that video which is new and it's from the brand philip plain uh, which i know the brand not that much but i've never heard about a fragrance from them so i think it's their first fragrance question mark so i tried it it's called no limits and it's pretty good so my honest opinion about it i don't know if i'll make a video just on that fragrance but i want to introduce it to the to this video because i talk about new fragrances and that one that was very good as well it was spicy it was masculine it was great and i like i like it because it's bold so if i have to suggest it performance is good not special but for their first fragrance is bold it's really spicy really masculine peppery and i like it so if you want to try it it's called no limits i think and it's really particular i like these new dnas this new boldness that uh fashion brands are trying to make on fragrances so i like it that's it hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next I've been flying from town to town.